Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are in my car, obviously we're doing another car vlog. I have not done a car vlog in a long long time. I'm currently waiting for cars to go by so I can get to H Mart because today we are going to H Mart. I have been meaning to go to H Mart because I need to buy snacks and also groceries for my family. So we are gonna go do that. I figured I might as well take you guys along with me because you tend to like to do that. And also I wanted to show you guys all the snacks that I get because I get a lot of snacks and they all taste really, really good. So I wanna share my extensive knowledge of snacks with you guys. My snacks mainly include not savory things. So if you guys are interested in savory foods, I'm sorry, but I got drinks, I got candy and I got ice cream. So we're about to go in. I am also, oh my gosh, there's so many people here. Oh my goodness, I can finally go okay so we are going to my local H Mart for groceries today I have not done a car vlog I think that guy is really close behind me oh my gosh I have not done a car vlog I think since December so I thought it was about time that I do another one because you guys all seem to really like when I did a car vlog so today's video is gonna be entirely in my car for the most part we'll see how it goes but I'm very excited to have you guys along with me because it makes my life a lot interesting when you guys think my life is interesting. So, here we are. I'm also inspired because I think later today I will be making some ice cream things for my Etsy shop. If you guys don't know about my Etsy shop, links in the description, but I will be making a lot of new things. Okay, motorcycle man, that was not terrifying at all. Thank you so much for that, wow. I, I could not have asked for anything more or less, but I swear I'm a good driver. Hands at 10 and 2 or whatever's supposed to be, whatever, I don't know. I don't know why it's so gloomy outside today. Georgia's kind of just like that, but I think it's gonna rain later. I really hope it doesn't because that would really suck to be honest. I must say the one thing I really like about being home is that I get to drive. I really like driving to be honest. I just don't do it often. <laughs> Especially right now during the pandemic, there's not many places to go. So I also figured like this is low key an adventure for me right now, going to H Mart and actually just getting groceries. So I figured, you know, now is a good time as any to film a video because I'm excited and typically on my channel, if you guys haven't noticed, I just do things that I think are exciting and then I upload them. And I think you guys have the same taste as me and think that it's exciting, so I'm sorry it's so overexposed, but I think we all get the same gist that getting ice cream is always an exciting. My camera's shaking so much. I think we all share the same ideas that getting ice cream is just so, so, so exciting. So yeah, that is what we are doing today, but I'm very, I need to stop saying I'm excited, but honestly, like I haven't left the house in so long that just going to H Mart is such an adventure to me. And wow, wow, that's a little sad. I know, I know it's a little sad, but I haven't been outside in so long. I hope you guys have all been doing okay in quarantine. Let me know what you guys have been doing in quarantine in the comments because I'm actually quite curious. I started off very strong and productive as you guys all know by me painting Sailor Moon on my dresser but things quickly went downhill and I'm trying to be productive again because as you guys know I strive to be productive with my entire life so it kind of sucks that I'm not but at the same time I kind of needed a break but I'm back into it. I've been working on my Etsy a lot so yeah I don't know what else to say but we are pulling up into H Mart right now so I will see you guys once I get out of my car. Hello everyone, so now we've arrived. Time to go inside of H Mart and get ice cream. Oh my gosh, my phone is so excited, it just moved by itself, wow. Alrighty, time to go to H Mart and get the ice cream I've been waiting for. Wow, I just realized, I hope you guys can hear me because I have a mask on, but one of the perks of wearing a mask is that no one knows that you're talking to yourself like from a distance, which is pretty good. And so now I'm on the sleuth for some yummy snacks. I'm currently in the snack aisle, the only aisle that I live in, and I'm trying to find some yummy things. Um, I like to look at all the crackers and all the snacks and things, and I just like the packaging sometimes. I don't even necessarily want it, but today I'm looking at all kinds of things because I don't even know what I'm looking for. Here's the ice cream section, the beloved ice cream section. I love this section and then here's me finding some gummy candies that I thought were really cute and so I decided to get them and I know most of these brands by now. Also they had this random holica holica section with a lot of makeup including line makeup so I decided to pick up these two lip tints and I kind of love them. 
um, now that I've actually used them. They're great. And also this palette was super cute. I didn't get it, but I just wanted to show you. And so here I am looking at the drinks and finding this random thing that I don't really know what it is, but they're pretty cute. These? I don't know what this is, but it looks like pokery sweat or something. I can't read this. Can someone read this, please? And just me resuming, trying to decide if I should buy just one of them or two of them, but I decided to just get one. And here's me getting my favorite ice cream that's been a fan favorite lately in my household. So, okay, so now that I am, oh my gosh, it's stuck on my ear. Dude, my piercings catch my mask so easily. But now that I am done, time for a little haul. Very exciting. I got a lot of snacks. Um, obviously I got groceries too, but you know, snacks are what's interesting and what everyone wants to see. So that's what we are gonna do. Ah! Hello everyone. So welcome to the official guide to Tiffany's Snackies. These are some important pieces of information, okay? I don't think you understand how much candy and snacks and ice cream mattered to me. Honestly, this is like my only field of expertise in any kind of food because I am not a very big foodie, but I do love dessert and ice cream and all things like that. So let's just go ahead and get started with the things I got from H Mart. I split this into two sections solely based on whether they go in the fridge or not because that is just what is easiest. I need to get through this kind of fast so I can get home before the ice cream melts. But first thing is Kit Kats. Kit Kats are so good, okay? You can't go wrong with Kit Kats. Sorry the exposure is so high today. I don't know why it's so gloomy outside, but Kit Kats are so freaking good. These are Sakura Mochi flavored, which I mean, sound so good in it. If they have anything to do with the red bean that's pictured inside these mochis, I will be so impressed because I love red bean in general. Yeah, so things I can get red bean, I will get red bean. I haven't seen this before, but I also have not been to the grocery store in quite a while, so not really sure what we're getting into today. I also picked up a couple packs of candy because I don't eat candy super, super often, but when I do, I really like these brands from H Mart because they're small so that I don't overeat and also they're resealable for the most part, except for this pack. So that's also always just like helpful, especially when I'm in college and I take candy to class, you want it to be resealable sealable you know so first pack i got these look so good citrus and orange is just like one of my favorite flavors ever so this just looks like amazing but these are some orange gummies and as you can see most of these packages i'm quite familiar with japanese candy most of these have a little picture of the gummy on the side i also love gummy candy gummy candy is so good superior to hard candy okay gummy bears amazing so i have these orange gummies that look so so good and then this is the same brand, but these are strawberry, but honestly, I'm gonna say the orange one's probably better. I have this brand of gummies that I've been eating and liking for quite a while. These, I believe, are called fettuccine gummies, but I'm not entirely sure, but they're really, really good, and they come in these strips, and I love the kinds of gummies that have sugar, like, coating on the outside. I just... I love the flavoring, I love the taste. So these are super good. I love the texture of these. Just lemon, citrus. Like I said, citrus is like the way to go. So these are so good. Moving on, last gummy we have are these peach ones. I also love peach flavor. Japan does really good peach flavor stuff. So I must say I'm quite impressed when they do do something like this, but these look really good. So I'm quite excited about these. I've had these before though, and I've had the grape ones of these quite often, but grape is honestly like my least favorite candy flavor with banana. I just, I don't like those. and. These gummies are also really freaking freaking good. They're really round and they have a really weird texture, but I really like them. I just love gummies uh, and these are also peach, so I don't really know what to say about that, but these are the peaches you wanna look for when it comes to candy, okay? These white Japanese peaches are what you're looking for, not the yellow peaches. The white peaches are what you're looking for, okay? I got some other candy. This is Pico Crunch Milk Candy. These are just, I just love uh, Pico candy in general. And so I wanted to try these milk crunch ones. I have yet to try these, but I'm usually not disappointed by Pekka, so I don't expect to be now. And then I got some Dar's chocolate. I don't normally like strawberry chocolate, but I do like Dar's strawberry chocolate. So this is very specific for some reason. I just like the way they do it. It just, it just tastes like good. So yeah, but I also love Dar's chocolate in general. This is the brand uh, Morinaga, which also makes really good caramels if you guys didn't know. 
to y'all. But yeah, so exciting, exciting stuff. This stuff, yes. And before you guys ask, I don't eat all of this very quickly. I do this maybe like three, four times a year. I get through candy really slowly, but I don't like constantly buying it. So I just go and I buy a bunch of it. So yeah, I don't like only eat candy. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I do however consume an alarming amount of ice cream. So let's get into that. Firstly, the biggest thing is snow ice cookies and cream. This stuff is so good. If you don't know what it looks like in here, I'm actually gonna eat one on my way home. So I'm just gonna open this but they come in little packets. And if you guys like milkshakes, this is like literally a milkshake. And um, as you can see, it's like really hard right now. So you're gonna want to wait until this melts. Um, so I can honestly leave this in my car and this will totally be fine before I get home. So, so yeah, I love these so much. They taste so good. And they're literally like a milkshake in a little container. You don't want to wait till they melt completely. So you do want to keep these in the fridge, but this I have in Shanghai all the time and they're just so convenient and so good and they're also get this they're resealable like you can put this cap back on and literally like put it back in your fridge so that's a big plus for me because I usually don't have an issue with finishing ice cream but when I do I'm glad that I have an option you know like most ice cream you can't put back in the fridge but this one you can so next I don't know what this is I want to say it's Puppets or pokery sweat. It looks really familiar to me, so I like know what it is, but I don't. I guess it's resealable, so I could just try it right now because it's a drink. This is like a liquid, as you can tell, but I've never seen this before. I got it. Opening things. Okay, I got it. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little plus guy in there. I don't know what that is, but I know this flavor, but I don't remember like the brand. It's not pokery sweat. This is really freaking good. Like I really like this. I don't know why it's in a bag. Not quite sure why it would be in a bag, but it's cute. So I'll accept it. And then I have this frozen wafer sandwich. These are really good. The only downside is a lot of the times the wafer is not crispy anymore because of how long you keep it in here. So it's best to eat these fresh, but I do really like these. The first time I had one of these was in Japan. And so I was really surprised to see them in the US. I'm not super surprised because most of the snacks I do buy are Japanese or Korean. So yeah, but this ice cream is really good um, and you can break it in half. But honestly, I would eat this in one go because as soon as the wafer gets soggy, it's not as good as it could be. I, oh my gosh, this is so freaking good. So this is vanilla ice cream with red bean and mochi and it is so freaking good. They also have this in matcha, but I am more of a red bean fan, but these are so freaking good. Oh my gosh. They're perfect like portions. I love things that are perfectly portioned so that I honestly, so that I can take it and go eat it in my bed and not have to like go back downstairs, put ice cream back in the freezer. So I love when they're perfectly proportioned like this. So I can just grab them and go, but these are so freaking good. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Like I'm like sponsored by them. Like I could literally say anything I want. I could literally say this is terrible, but honestly, I have nothing bad to say about this. This is literally like one of my favorite ice creams ever. So yeah, I don't know. I I'm not sponsored by H Mart. I don't know why it's coming across. Like in my opinion, like I'm sponsored by H Mart. Um, cause I swear I'm not, but as if I would ever be sponsored by H Mart. <laughs> anyway, these are really good. <laughs> Makeup guru. Wow. Anyway, moving on. Oh my God. And that is all the ice cream. That is my snack guide. This is not all of my favorite snacks for sure. This is just what H Mart had in stock today, but I must say I am quite pleased and I will be getting ready to go home now before all of this ice cream starts to melt. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for watching my video. Um, I hope this was interesting. I don't actually know why I wanted to film this. I just knew that I did. And so I filmed it um, and now it's on the internet. So yeah, if you guys were looking for a guide for good snacks, let me know. And if you guys know of any good snacks that you guys think I would like, please let me know. My preferences are chocolate chocolate and chocolate so if anything's chocolate flavored i will probably like it that's all i have for today i'm gonna stop rambling so i can get home before this stuff melts so um the people behind me probably think i'm crazy but that is okay i will see you guys in the next video so stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you guys when i see you guys bye